you welcome once again to my channel it's nice having you around in my video today i shall be looking at the gross anatomy of the ruminant stomach by way of introduction uh, the ruminant stomach is actually a complex stomach okay why do we say it's a complex stomach it is complex because it is made up of four different chambers it has the rumen, it has the reticulum, it has the omasum, and it has the abomasum. Okay, unlike the simple stomach uh, that is just made up of a single uh, part. Okay, now in this uh, study today, we shall be uh, discussing uh, this organ uh, based on three different uh, headings. Okay, for a better understanding of um, our subject today. So we shall be starting with identifying the external features or appearance of this organ that is this complex stomach and secondly we shall be looking at the communicating orifices between the various parts of these organs and then finally we shall look at the internal appearance okay of the various parts of um, the 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 stomach okay uh, before we go into a uh, discussion for the day i would want you to understand the how this organ is actually placed in the animal okay in its in situ position how it is posed how it is placed first of all this is the the esophagus okay this is the esophagus okay of course having seen or identified the esophagus here one should understand that this is the cranial aspect okay that means the head of the animal should be on this part on this side okay and then if the head of the animal is here that means the tail of the animal should be on this other side. So that means this is a cranial aspect of this organ, while this is a caudal aspect. Another thing is to understand the dosal and ventral aspect. Okay, this is the dosal part, while this is the ventral part. Okay, that means this is the part that actually uh, is in touch with the belly of the animal. Okay, and uh, finally, uh, in terms of uh, positioning or direction this is the the right part okay uh, because in its in situ position the intestines are actually placed on this part okay in my next video i shall be looking at the intestines okay i won't cover that in this uh, present video okay while this other side the opposite side is the the left part okay now Let's now talk about the external features or structures we can see externally on this uh, complex stomach. First of all, we said that the, the stomach in, in, this, uh, in this species, that is ruminant, has four chambers. The first one is the rumen. The rumen is actually the largest. This is the rumen. Okay? Separate this. So this is the rumen. The whole of this. Okay? The whole of this is... The ruminal sac okay this is the dosal sac of the rumen and then this is the ventral sac of the rumen okay we also have the caudal dosal blind sac okay this projection here is the is the is the is a blind sac it's called the blind sac and being part of the dosal sac it is called the dosal blind sac and also uh, facing since it is a uh, 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 projecting caudally, it is now called caudal, caudal dosal blind sac. Okay, why this is the caudal ventral blind sac? Okay, because this is part of the dosal sac, why this is part of the ventral sac? Okay, now this groove here, okay, is called the right longitudinal groove. The right, you see, this groove, you know, a uh, kind of separating. The dosal sac from the ventral sac is called the right longitudinal groove. We also have the left longitudinal groove on the opposite side, okay? Because this groove goes almost round the entire rumen, okay? Now, the next sac we shall look at is, uh, the next um, compartment we shall look at is the reticulum, okay? Now, this is the reticulum here. This is the reticulum. Okay, of course, this is a rumen, but here is the reticulum. 
Okay, this is the reticulum. I hope it is clearly seen. Okay, this is just a cut that was made. I will sh uh, from where I will show you the inner uh, structure, the internal appearance of this organ. Okay, so this is the reticulum. Okay, the next uh, compartment, the next compartment is the omasum. Okay, this is the omasum. Okay, so we have the rumen. This is the rumen. We have the reticulum. This is the reticulum. Okay, the reticulum is here. Okay, and then after this, you see it is almost uh, collapsed. Okay, then after the reticulum, we have the omasum. Okay, this is the omasum. Okay, and then finally the abomasum or the true stomach. Okay, this is the abomasum. Okay, so it is clear, All right? It is very clear. This is the rumen again. This is the reticulum. This is the omasum. Okay, see the obam om, uh, uh, omasum. While this is the abomasum. Okay. Now let's um, look at the the internal appearance of these. Uh, uh, compartments you know because um, one need to know uh, if a part of this if a part of this uh, organ or compartment is cut out okay for instance if we have a cutout of this rumen you know by me looking at its internal appearance you should be able to to tell if it is the rumen or reticulum or omasum or the abomasum okay so now starting from the rumen you see, we already cut this earlier on. So if you look at this structure, its internal structure, it has some tiny papillae, okay? Some tiny papillae. These are projections, okay? Well, they aid in, of course, absorption, okay? So they are tiny, but these papillae are called the ruminal papillae, okay? These are papillae. They are called the ruminal papillae, okay? The ruminal papillae. Yeah, that is what generally uh, the uh, they call. If you go to the abattoir, okay, generally it is called a towel. They tell you, ah, I need a towel. Give me a towel. Okay. So now the second uh, organ we shall look at is the reticulum. Okay. Let's look at the reticulum. The reticulum. Okay. See, this is the reticulum. See the appearance of the reticulum. Okay. So the, the, the reticular mucosa, it, it actually has polygonal cells. Okay. Which are bounded by ridges or crests. Okay. So each of these are cells. So they are bound by ridges. Each of them, they have ridges. They are bounded by, you know, ridges or crests called reticular crests or ridges. Okay. They, they are called reticular crests. These, all these, the reticular crests or, rec or reticular ridges. So these polygonal ridges, yeah, these polygonal cells, sorry, uh, gives the mucosal surface a honeycomb appearance, as you can see here. Okay, from which its name is derived. That is why it is said that the reticulum has a honeycomb appearance. Okay has a honeycomb appearance. I think this is well understood. So let's look at the omasum. This is the omasum. Okay. This is the omasum. Okay, let's open it up. This is the nature of the omasum. It's very different from the others. Okay. Now, what you see, these are uh, 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 omasal Laminae, okay, omasa laminae, they are all laminae or leaves. You call them the omasa laminae or the omasa leaves, okay. Colloquially uh, called uh, the butcher's bible, the butcher's bible, okay. These also, the, now the, the, the omasa leaves or laminae also have papillae, of which also aid in absorption, they also have tiny papillae on them, okay. They have papillae on them. Look at the papillae. 
located on them okay they also aid in a uh, absorption okay that is that for the omasum so finally let's look at the abomasum let's look at the abomasum okay let's not get it uh, uh twisted okay so let's come to the abomas this is the abomasum okay this is the abomasum remember we said this is the rumen okay this is the rumen okay this is the reticulum okay this is the omasum and then this now is the abomasum so here is the abomasum okay this is the abomasum all right now let's look at the internal appearance okay the abomasum is actually lined by glandular mucosa okay because it is now the true stomach it is a true stomach so it is lined by glandular uh, mucosa okay the mucosa forms mucosa folds so what you see here are mucosa folds are you seeing the folds these are mucosa folds mucosal folds okay and so many of them okay you can also refer to them as abomasal folds abomasal folds in simple stomach these are called gastric folds okay in this in the in the simple stomach they are referred to as gastric folds so these are called abomasal folds okay okay i think that is this is what we have for the internal appearance of these different uh, compartments so finally we shall look at the communicating orifices okay what are the communicating orifices you know called okay because there are there are there are communicate there, there are routes uh, through which these different uh, uh, compartments communicate so the first one we may not be able to open it up to check okay we may not be able to open it up to check or to show you but um, i will just um, describe it so you know now the point of communication between the rumen okay and the reticulum okay this is the rumen okay and then this is the reticulum this point internally internally the point at which they communicate is called the rumino reticular orifice okay while the reticulum also communicates with the omasum okay this reticulum also communicates with the omasum via the reticulo omasal orifice okay the reticulo omasal that is from inside okay internally and then finally the omasum communicates with the abomasum okay the omasum communicates with the abomasum okay through what we call the um, omaso abomasal orifice okay omaso abomasal orifice okay so i take it again the orifices the first one between the orifice the communicating point between the rumen and the reticulum okay between the rumen and reticulum is called internally okay is called the rumino reticular orifice between the reticulum and the omasum is called the reticulo or muscle orifice while between the omasum and abomasum okay is called the omasu abomasal orifice okay finally in this video i sh just want to show you the okay let's go internally in the, the internal appearance of the abomasum again um, of course, the abomasum, I said earlier on, is a true stomach. Okay. A true stomach. So, now, uh, this is the pylorus. Okay. This is a pylorus. Or the pyloric region. Okay. Let me open it the more. Okay. Now. Okay. So, this is the pyloric region. Okay. This is a pyloric region of this organ okay now between this pyl pylorus and 
the duodenum of course this is the duodenum okay this is a duodenum of course the abomasum stops here okay from this point up to this place now there is a structure here called the torus pyloricus okay as a fleshy protuberance okay this is the torus pyloricus okay which guides you know sort of guards the entrance of um, or the movement of um, of, of, of ingested or the, the digested food or food that has been consumed okay it guides its movement from the this point okay to the duodenum okay so this is a torus pyloricus you see it is fleshy okay it's a thickened structure all right okay thank you very much for watching this video uh, like I said earlier on in my next video I shall be discussing the or talking about the intestine of the of the ruminant of the good okay uh, once again I want to appreciate your audience okay and I will advise that you do well to share this video okay uh, don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so and also click on the notification bell icon so you can be notified whenever we post our videos don't forget to drop your comments it can be questions it can be you know advice it can be whatever you need to tell us okay just to make sure that we are moving ahead god bless you